Hey, Shalom, good morning. Sister Kate here. This morning, uh, a sister is coming over and we are going to make wild grape wine. <clears throat> and last night I was getting ready for her coming over and I tried looking up the recipe that I use. And it's not as easy as I thought it would be to find that recipe because I kind of named it <clears throat> according to the person who I... Uh, put it online her name is grandma pat it's um g-r-a-m-m-a -M -M -A, grandma pat but her recipe is on a website called genius kitchen and it's at food.com and so if you put all those uh what am i trying to say all those words in your search you'll probably find it easier than just writing in Grandma Pat's wild grape wine recipe. If you if you just Google that, Grandma Pat's first uh, in the f first part of the name, you don't get to the website um, because it's not actually a video. What you get is you go to YouTube and you get a bunch of their videos on making wild grape wine. So why am I why have I done three videos now on this one recipe? Uh, one, to show you that the process of taming wild grapes works, whether you want to make wine or jelly or raisins or whatever you want to do with them, it, you, just to eat them. Um, and so I have the two other videos on my channel. And in my first video, the, the front half, it's about 12 minutes on, the front half is explaining about the grapes. Um, but I also post a uh, link to my other grape wine video and both of them are fine one of them is, is much longer but the one that's longer is actually showing the process whereas the first one is well it shows the process too it's just a shorter version it's not it's not a whole video and i think both of them are fine i watched mo both last night um and so today i'm not going through the process again i don't think it's necessary oh i'm getting chewed on by a mosquito well too bad gone now um the reason i am doing a video today is just to make sure you get that information genius kitchen at food.com grandma pat wild wine recipe uh and to let you know that after watching several videos on making wild grape wine her recipe is definitely the easiest recipe out of them all and it's got the very few ingredients i noticed on several of the videos uh, people were adding um camden tablets and and uh, yeast nutrients and tannin uh oh i don't even remember what the tablet was called something about removing the natural yeast with the yeast tablet and then these tannin tablets because tannin uh calms wine down smooths it out well I'm here to tell you in my experience when I did this recipe, man, I just can't get every single video. Um, the first year when I did it in a five gallon bucket, it was a really tasty wine. Um, and I took it to a friend's wedding and I let strangers try it. And one of them thought it was so good. They thought it was moonshine. So that tells you that the wine it, it, that is made was not too rough, was not, you know, it was a smoothish wine. And um, I learned through doing wine for two years in a row for grapes that you can make your wine um, more smooth and things by just adding back in some grape juice to the wine at the end of the process. Um, but I'm just, I'm letting you know because it made a good wine. And I have no idea if the other ones make a good wine. I know they'll be more clear. Um, but because you are boiling the stem of the grape at the beginning of this recipe, instead of all the other recipes called for you to wash the grapes, and then you pull each individual grape off each stem, which is a whole lot of work, I'm here to tell you. Uh, it takes a long time to do that. Uh, the tannins are in the stem, and so you're already putting tannins in, and tannins 
are supposed to smooth it out. And if you remember, when I made the blackberry one earlier this year, more mosquitoes, um, it called for fermenting it and then just putting it right into the oak cask and leaving it there for a year. Well, the oak cask does the same thing. It smooths the wine out it, because it can have a very rough um, kind of bitter taste to it if you don't do those things. If you don't either put it in an oak cask or boil it with the stems. The blackberry one that I made was much rougher than the grape one that I made because when I made the blackberry wine, I, I didn't do any of the things to make it smoother. But this time around, I have. So I'm expecting next October to open that cask and for that wine to be really smooth. That's what the recipe says. If there's any problems with it, it's because um, I fermented it longer than the recipe called for. So here I am reiterating the wild grape wine recipe posted by Grandma Pat on the Genius Kitchen website at food.com is the easiest, best wild recipe I have found. Um, and that includes, there's there's a, a, a video on ancient techniques of doing wine and the person made the wine without adding any sugar and I'm sure it fermented, but they both, when the people tasted the wine, they were like, wow, that's, that's not great. So you can be more primitive if you want in the way you make the wine by just mashing up the fruit that that's the way this video they did it um they they did the old-fashioned stomp the grapes with your feet and then they just put it in a ceramic jar and left it for i think about 15 days i don't know i don't even think they added yeast the grapes have yeast on them look at that you can see the mosquito in the video oh my gosh uh anyway they left it in for 15 days and then, and it was just covered with a, a cloth and they had made a lid. That's the cool thing about that video that they actually made the ceramic pots that they were making their, their wild wine in. Um, but you could tell by the expression on their faces that it really wasn't that good. They were like, mm, yeah, you can kind of tell it's wine, but it's kind of hard to tell it's not vinegar, et cetera, et cetera. So there you have it. Third time in a row. I certainly hope it's going to be a charm. Um, I've already got my bucket and my grapes are ready. I posted pictures on my community page of the grape bunches this year. Wow. Every single video. It's something, right? It's a rooster, a guinea hen, a duck, a cat. Now it's a mosquito. Um, yeah, I, I certainly hope. And I'm very much expecting this wine to be just as good as it was. And I made the point in my first video, and probably in my second, and I will in the third, that it's ready. The, the grapes are ripe in August, and Sukkot is in the September-October time frame. So this wine is ready for Sukkot. I think there's a wonderful spiritual beauty in that. All right, y'all. Bless you. Shalom.